Good morning, everyone. It's day 40 on the trail, and you're back here with Heisenberg. I'm trying to get my tent up, tent packed up, and all my junk packed up pretty quickly because it's about to rain. And I really don't like being wet. I'm just going to tell you right now, I don't like being wet. I don't like being cold. And I really don't like being wet and cold. So um, I'm not going to talk anymore. I got stuff to do. Bye. Once again, everybody, it is coffee, the jet fuel, and peanut butter wrap. Yeah. Uh, in a little bit, I'll pull out the map and see where we're going today. I think it's like 13 miles, which I am not looking forward to. But uh, yeah, it's going to happen. <laughs> Boy, I feel about 10 pounds lighter. And that don't make sense. I'm in the privy right now or the latrine or the bathroom. And uh, yeah, 10 pounds lighter. Um, that way, I had a good experience too because yesterday, Gatlinburg, Gatlinburg's town hall, their bathroom had two ply toilet paper. So guess who has two ply toilet paper now? This guy. <laughs> oh, I'm like your trash, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I don't go to bathrooms with single ply because I can't steal it. <laughs> or I won't steal it because I'm not carrying single ply. I want two ply. <laughs> My butt deserves better. Anyway, hey, hey, before I leave, the cover is raining outside. We're going to take a look at the map while I'm still in the bathroom. I'm going to use the toilet seat as like a, that's going to be our table. <laughs> I'm bad, man. Y'all aren't going to watch this anymore. Let us look at the data book. All right, so I'm not, I'm using one hand for the phone right here and one hand for this. So I can't use the pen to show you where I am. But if you look, uh, Peck's Corner Shelter, it says day 39, right in the center of the screen. That is where I am currently. The next shelter up is Tri Corner Knob Shelter. But that's only, what, 5.2 miles? Oh, man, I got to do better than that. But then... The next shelter after that is Cosby Knob Shelter. If you see a 64.4, and that's, what's that, 12.9 miles? Can I, do I do math right? I do math. Yeah, 12.9 miles. That's a big day. The farthest I've ever been is 12 miles. And, uh, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get to this tri-corner knob shelter at 5.2. And I'm going to reevaluate my life and consider all the bad deeds I've done in my past. And then, um, yeah, I'll regret my life decisions and then go towards Cosby Knob Shelter. That's the plan. We're back at the, uh, the wiggle wiggle sign. Y'all remember that? My money don't jiggle jiggle. I'm not going to sing it because I think I'll get banned. I'm not banned, but I'll get a copyright notice. Good song though. Oh, anyway, the reason I stopped here. Someone lost the mittens. He's all alone. Hmm. Well, maybe the owner will see that and they'll get the other mittens. Because one hand's real cold. One hand's doing fine. But the, other, the left hand's like, man, it's cold out here. <laughs> yep. Boy, this is one of those days where I just want to cuddle up next to a fire under a blanket with a good book. I don't know what possessed me to come out here. It's raining, it's cold, it's dreary. I love the rain though. I'm happy. Yay! Not really. I don't like this. <laughs> I want to go back to the fire. Guys, this looks like I'm going to hurt myself. Because I don't get I don't get along well with wet rocks. And that's a big one. I'm trying to think. Maybe I go around. Jeez, man, even this is slippery. That's slippery right there. All right, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to step right there and then put my foot up on that log right there and the left foot up there past the rocks. Or I could go up this, this, this crevice up to there, right foot on there. Oh, got it. Got it, got it. I'm making. I'm not gonna die. But uh, if you don't get a video after this, I'm dead. <laughs> Let's go. I was hiking without my jacket. I don't know if y'all can hear. Or see. The wind's pretty uh, 
I don't know, maybe you can see it over here a little better. The wind's blowing at a good clip. And that's, it made me a little cold. Like my beard is starting to freeze. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, I put my jacket on. <sighs> oh, it's cold. Everybody, I made it to the, the first destination. Why does it look blurry? I don't know. Try corner shelter, 5.5 miles or something like that. Appalachian Trail, south north. I'm gonna sit down for a little bit and make a decision if I wanna hike seven more miles. I see more like eight more miles. That's not seven, it's like eight. So I'm gonna sit down here and uh, have a powwow with myself, figure it out. Oh, if y'all can see, here's the shelter. It's right there. Don't look too bad. I see someone's tent. People are still here. I see, I'm not the, y'all, 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 everybody out there is like, oh, Heisenberg, slow. I'm not the slowest. Yeah, I'm slow, but I'm not the slowest. <laughs> you can't put the superlative on there. <laughs> you can put the modifier. He's slow, but not the superlative. Slowest. That's all I'm aiming for. I just gotta be, you know, one meter per second faster than the next person. Anyway, the decision's been made. I'm staying here. <laughs> <laughs> at the tri corner something tri corner knob shelter i don't know i just know i don't know i've only hiked like five and a half miles and it just now turned noon like it is noon and i'm already done but uh <laughs> i don't know i'm looking if i go on the next shelter's eight miles down the trail eight miles and so i thought well i don't want to hike eight miles I'm good. You know, it's noon, eight miles. It'll be about five o'clock before I get there. I'm, I don't really like putting my tent up that late. I don't know. I'm, I just don't. I'm not gonna do it. So I'm staying here. Oh, and another deciding factor. Uh, I turned my, I, I turned my phone off of airplane mode, and it has cell service. So I'm staying here, and I need to sleep because man, I got some bags under my eyes. tough life yeah but cell service that that was that sealed the deal sealed the deal i was already not wanting to hike and then when i found i had cell service here i'm not gonna hike so that's how it is <laughs> still here i just ate my uh my ramen bomb my ramen setup get together my lunch and and i was talking with uh, Bert, who was right here but he's over at the privy now talking about Bert from new zealand and we were talking about temperatures in New Zealand since it's in the Southern Hemisphere versus the United States Northern Hemisphere. We were trying to compare latitudes and everything. And, and I was talking in Fahrenheit and he was having to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit because they use Celsius in New Zealand. I was like, you know what? Why doesn't everybody just switch to Kelvin and everybody could be happy because Kelvin is, is, I mean, if you're going to have to do any kind of physics like heat transfer you gotta you know put things in kelvin so why doesn't everybody just use kelvin i'm gonna propose that to to the united states to you know our government whatever i'm like why don't we switch our our, our thermometers to kelvin not celsius or fahrenheit kelvin you know give me a like if y'all <laughs> y'all agree with that let's go to kelvin am i recording oh it just seems weird anyway I am developing a presence on the trail. Uh, Burnt, the New Zealander that came up, came up and I, and I said, hey, I'm Heisenberg. He was like, you're Heisenberg. Like, like I have some kind of reputation following me behind on the trail. I, I meant to ask him like, why he, he, he said you're Heisenberg in such a way. Because I don't know, I don't wanna have a bad reputation. Anyway. <laughs> it is kind of cool. I've gained no notoriety. <laughs> I don't know what for. I hope it's for a good thing. Good morning, everyone. It's about 7 a.m. I think today's day 40. Something like that. I know it's April 1st. April Fool's Day, is that it? But if you can hear, the weather is not so great. Yeah, that's not cool. So I'm gonna sit in the tent for a little bit 
until the, the weather dies down because I don't like rain. I just don't. I'm upset. The wind was blowing so hard last night, it pulled out mm, that corner. If you can see it, it pulled that one out, pulled the, the stake out of the ground. Um, the tent didn't collapse, but this whole side, I didn't realize it until the sun came up. But it was all folded in. Now I'm sitting, I picked the wrong campsite, and I'm floating in a puddle of water, like a sea of water. Everything's wet. I'm wet. Sleeping bags are wet. Matt's wet. You know what? So I was going to wait till the rain to stop, but I, I'm wet already. So why am I still sitting in the tent? You know, trying to stay dry. <laughs> that didn't work. And, and as long as I'm in my tent, I can't have coffee. So I'm going to get up and get some coffee. Yeah. This, this, that, that was upsetting. And when I say I'm in a puddle of water, there's literally a puddle of water. Yeah, I'm swimming in here, man, swimming. So, you know, there's no reason to stay in here. <laughs> oh. oh, I regret my life decisions. Uh huh. Hey, can y'all guess what I'm having for breakfast? Oh, coffee and peanut butter wrap. Oh, you didn't know, how'd you know? It's every day, coffee and peanut butter, but it's good. I've got to show y'all something. Before I get too far from the shelter. Y'all see this stream, okay? This is coming down the Appalachian Trail. All right? And it's going down. Oh, and then it makes a turn. All right? It makes a turn. And it goes down. And it goes down. Oh, 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 let me see if I'm focused, baby. Focus. All right, and then it goes down some more. You see that little flat spot? Right. Let me get my finger to it. Right there. That's where I have my tent. Guess where the stream is going? there stream tent i'm telling you i woke up and i was like i had to pull out a paddle because my air mattress floating and i was just like paddling down the river man it was rough it was rough but if that's the worst of it you know i made it hey but now i'm just cold and wet <laughs> that's fun by trail runners they said you don't need gore-tex boots they said okay they call this the Appalachian Stream. <laughs> We're not on a trail anymore. We are going fording. You know what? I feel like y'all ever played that game, Oregon Trails, where you got your, uh, your, 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 your wagon and pulled by the oxen and you come up to a river and you can either like, you know, go down, go downstream for a bridge or you can float it or you can try to ford the river. And they say the river's like 20 feet deep and your oxen are only, you know, four feet high. And you're like, ah, we're going across. And you make them go across and then all your oxen drown and die and your family dies and you get diphtheria and then the Indians come and take all your food. Yeah, that's what it feels like right now. It's rough. <laughs> Beside the fact that all my gear is soaked and it weighs like 55, 60 pounds, <sighs> I think it's going to be a beautiful day. I mean, check it out. I see some blue. I mean, I can't. Yeah, there's blue out there. It's going to be a beautiful day, man. You got to look on the bright side. <sighs> I keep looking at water and like, yeah, water. But it's not that bad. I drink water. I'm an idiot. I really am. So I saw this cool waterfall. And I was like, man, that would be really neat to take a time lapse of. You know? And so I stepped off the trail to kind of get down here at a better angle to get it to the waterfall. I hit this little stump right here, if y'all can see by my hand. Fell on my butt. Fell on my butt again. Anyway, I'm gonna try to do a time lapse. This is kind of pretty. Real foggy. But it's pretty. It's nice. It's nice to come out of the woods sometimes and see the surroundings. Because most of the time you're just looking at trees. Ooh, this is better. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Maybe that's why they call it the Smokies. Smoke it. This is a neat path. This is what I imagine when I think of the Appalachian Trail. You have a nice little flat path. You know, no rocks. No mountains. No trees, 
You know, it's just a nice little path. I like that. I hope the next like 20 miles are like this. I can get some miles in today. I don't like to stop this early in the day because I started at nine after nine and it's only 1040 now, but I've got a lot of wet gear and this is the perfect spot to dry it out. You know, I just set it on top of these grass thingies, whatever they are. And I've got sunlight and wind. So it shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna take a break here. You see, I pulled everything out. Gotta let it dry. I'm telling you, when I was in a river last night, a river coming through my tent, I'm not joking. That's what happened. I'm letting everything dry out. Uh-oh. Tent's flying away. Okay. Just as long as nothing flies away, I'll be all right. Oh, 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 no, no, oh, oh. Woo! Man, I'm out here trying to dry stuff, but it's trying to fly away. Oh. Oh. Get up here. Dry out or something. Woo, that was close. I was gonna lose my gear. It's a little windy up here, but I gotta dry this stuff out. Um, oh, right, what I was about to say, I heard some funny jokes. When I when everybody hears my Heisenberg name, we you know uh, we had some physics jokes this morning. Here's joke number one. Two atoms are walking down the sidewalk, and the one atom says to the other atom, Hey, I think I lost an electron. And the other Adam's like, are you sure? And the first Adam's like, yes, I'm positive. Ah, that was good. That was good. All right. Um, uh, Professor Schrodinger takes his cat into the vet one day. Schrodinger takes his cat into the vet and he has it in a carrying case and you can't see the cat. It's in a box and he takes it into the vet and he, uh, and he talks to the vet. He's like, uh, Hey, Dr. Heisenberg, there's something wrong with my cat. And Dr. Heisenberg says, well, I have good news and I have bad news. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mr. Schrodinger says, are you sure? <laughs> oh, woo! If, okay, I'll explain it to you because Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So Schrodinger says, are you sure? And, and Dr. Heisenberg says, you know, I have good news and bad news because, you know, Schrodinger's cat, is it dead or alive? It's both. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, I, that's, I'm nerded out right there. It was good. I, I like those jokes. I have to give credit where credit's due. Those, uh, the physics jokes, those came from High Def. High Def, that's the trail name. So thanks, High Def, for the physics jokes. I am going to reuse them now <laughs> so I can reinforce my reputation as Heisenberg. You know, I got to have the physics jokes to back it up. I can't just say I'm Heisenberg and not know any physics jokes. It's just, that's just not right. On the road again. My pack feels lighter after I dried everything out. Feels uh, better. All right, so I, I spent about an hour, 20 minutes there drying this stuff out. I'm not doing big miles today. I'm going to the next shelter and that's it. Oh, I didn't pull out the map. Y'all are just gonna have to trust me that the next shelter is like five or six miles up ahead. And that's where I'm going. So uh, I'll show you when I get there. I just had the best conversation yet on the Appalachian Trail with all good, all good. If you see this, thank you for talking with me. That was that was great. I, I didn't mind sitting there for I don't know. We probably talked for thirty minutes an hour. That was that was good. I, I really enjoyed talking with you. And please let me know when you finish going southbound when you finish the trail. That's exciting. I always get excited when I meet people that are right at the end because I I, I can't even imagine it yet because I'm so far from the end. And it's really exciting to see people close to the end. Anyway, that was, that was, it was really nice. So, uh, all good. Yeah, let me know when you finish. I, I'd like to hear. I still can't get over it. That was a good conversation. All good. That was, I, I, I enjoyed that.
things like that keep me keep me inspired on the trail that's not the right word but you know it's it was good anyway i told y'all i was gonna tell i was gonna tell everybody where i'm going today uh I'm not doing big miles today. I thought I was going to make it to Davenport Gap all the way up to Smokies. It's 1 o'clock now. I'd probably hike the mile. <laughs> I'm not going to try to do 14 more. It's not going to happen. But let me look at the... Let's take a look at the data book and find out. Guys, it's really windy. So I, I, I'm, I can't really point where I'm going. But I started at Tri-Corner Knob Shelter. You see day 40 right there. 56.7. And I'm just going up to... Cosby knob shelter is 64.4 so that's 7.7 miles total and if you look at the sign here it says Cosby knob is 3.9 so Cosby knob is 3.9 from here and the shelter is four tenths of a mile farther so in 4.3 miles we'll be at the shelter I'm fine with that that, that I am okay with that it's already one o'clock and that is fine with me and after talking with all good you know she she reinforced the idea in my head that, that you don't have to crank out big miles and that if you don't finish the trail it's okay you know because it's not all about finishing the trail anyway we had a really good conversation i i, I enjoyed that. that that's stuff i like to hear all right guys we're here at cosby knob shelter and if y'all don't remember, I met the one guy that was complaining about people putting graffiti out on the rocks on the trail. And then he put, he, he showed me the symbol that he puts up in every uh, uh, trail shelter. Well, look here. Here's the symbol. So I, 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 don't, I don't really think that guy can talk about other people putting graffiti up because it's right here, man. I see it. Good morning, everyone. It is day, let me check, 42 on the trail. Yeah, day 42. Today we are leaving the Smokies. We're done. Done with the Smokies. I'm done with Smokey the Bear. I'm done. I'm just done with Smokey the Bears. Yep. And let's look at the data book and, and check it out. Currently we are at Cosby Knob Shelter at 64.4 miles. And the exit from the Smokies is here at Davenport Gap. I don't know if we're going to quite leave the Smokies because I may just go up to this Davenport Gap shelter. And then Davenport Gap's up here. And then there's Pigeon State Line Branch, Pigeon River, I-40. But the resupply is over here at Green Corner. That's at 74.8. So that'd be, what's that, 10.4 miles to get to the resupply. And also, I have food, so I might just come up to this Davenport Gap shelter today. And then the next day, I can spend time. I'll be right there. And I can get in there early. And really, my big resupply is going to be up at Hot Springs. That's where we're going to have mail coming in and all kinds of good stuff. Hot Springs. If y'all can see on the map, it's kind of not showing up really well. But here I am at Cosby Knob. And I'm going to try to make it up to this Davenport Gap shelter. And then here's I-40. And if you see this little line right here, demarcation, this separates the Great Smoky Mountains National Park from, I believe it's called Cherokee, Cherokee National Forest. So we'll be out of, we'll either be out of the Smokies today or tomorrow. It's a beautiful morning, leaving Cody Gap Shelter, I think. I don't even know what this shelter is called. But check it out. Look at the look at the, the sunrise. Well, it's way up there now. But uh, beautiful morning. I adjusted my shoulder straps on my backpack. I think I, it's either raised or lowered at one notch, depending on your perspective. But I, I adjusted it. Now it fits. It fits better. So still adjusting, figuring it out. Today we're leaving the Smokies. Should be out of the Smokies today. There's a, 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 some kind of, what is it called? A hostel. I think they just call everything a hostel out here. It could be like, you know, a burnt down building. They call it a hostel. Like, go stay in that burnt down building. It costs you $25. Like, huh? No, nah, man, I got a tent. But anyway, um, getting out of the Smokies, going to some place called Standing Bear. 
We're going to see what that's like. So, y'all stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're going to Standing Bear. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. The section hiker back at the shelter said it was all downhill till we left the Smokies. I haven't seen a downhill yet. It goes up. I feel, I feel cheated. <sighs> Even though it's all uphill, it's still beautiful, man. Come on. I'd hike uphill. See that? <sighs> Woo! I'm good till the coffee wears off. And after that, we better be going downhill. I've got about 30 minutes left in me. And after that, I just want to roll downhill. I am at an impasse here. Literally an impasse. Well, maybe not an impasse because the impasse means you can't pass. But I'm at a, a fork in the road. Two roads diverge in a yellow wood. And sorry, I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long guy stood. I looked down one as far as I could till it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim for it was grassy and wanted wear. The vast for that, the passing there, warned them really about the same. I forgot the next verse. Anyway, okay. Let's go up here. Um, I need to be on the Appalachian Trail. Appalachian. Okay, everybody's like, it's not Appalachian. You say Appalachian. Appalachian. Whatever. Y'all need to get off the couch. Stop making fun of my way I talk. Anyway, so I need to be on the Appalachian Trail. Appalachian. Okay, I said it right that time. There you go. But over here, we have this Mount Camera Trail in Mount Camera, and it says go, fire tower, five stars, go, go. But uh, I'm not convinced. Um, I'm really not convinced. I don't like doing extra miles. <laughs> Even if it's a cool view. Because guess what? I've already been on a fire tower. I've been on a mountain. Once you've been on one, you've been on them all. It, it's it's really not that different. I'm sticking with the Appalachian Trail. Appalachian Trail. Appalachian, Appalachian, apple, tomato, tomato, whatever. Finally found the downhill. Unfortunately, if y'all see that, it's, it's the stair things. They make out of logs. And let me tell you, it's almost as bad as going uphill. Especially if you get bad knees. Woo! I'm telling you, downhill is not fun. Not fun at all. This is a cool approach. I just looked up for a moment and saw it. So let's walk up together. Thought that was pretty neat. It's beautiful if you look out, like straight out that way. Let me see if I can zoom in. Like just look at those mountains way out there. It looks like as if they're floating. That is so neat. Then you have the clouds way out there. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. I met one guy who, who lives on the trail and he said he came out here and he just fell in love with it. And he's out here. I mean, I can think of worse places to live. <laughs> Honestly, if, I can think of worse places to live. I mean, if you wake up and look at this every morning, it's hard to beat. Well, I've got to get hiking. We've got to make it out of the Smokies. Get away from all these bears. Yeah. Check this out. Davenport Gap, 2.9 miles. And it's not even 11 o'clock yet. I've only been hiking for two hours. And we have three miles to go. I think I'm getting my trail legs. 
like pretty soon I'm going to be cranking out 30 mile days by noon. <laughs> I wish that'll never happen. If I could be on 10 miles a day, I'll be happy. <sighs> you know, I can do more than 10 miles a day. I just don't want to, you know, <laughs> there's a big difference between ability. Oh, hello. Sorry. I'm talking to myself. I just talked to a couple, uh, the wife had finished the trail last year. The husband got hurt. And so he's going back and picking up, uh, the places where he missed last year. And, uh, they just came from Davenport cap and they said there's trail magic down there. So, uh, yeah, I'm not stopping anymore. I know lollygagging. I might not even shoot videos because trail magic is serious. When you get hot dogs and Coca-Cola sponsor me, um, and Mountain Dew and coffee and salad and fruit and all that good stuff. Ooh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I gotta go, guys. I gotta put some. I gotta get some. We got three miles. I can do that. And boy, if I haul butt, I might be able to do it in 45 minutes, an hour. I can do it an hour for sure. All right, I gotta go, bye. Still hiking, trying to get to Davenport Gap. I forgot to mention, I, I heard from a another hiker that he got pulled over by the Gatlinburg police for trying to hitchhike. And like the guy turned on the lights and sirens and everything. I think the officer was just being a, you know, a word I'm not gonna mention on YouTube because that's uncalled for. But the officer was like, you know, hitchhiking is illegal in the state of Tennessee. And we don't allow that kind of activity in Gatlinburg. Well, you know what? I would have flipped that cop off and run for it. <laughs> Not really. But geez. That, that just seems like... I don't understand it. Oh, I hear people. I gotta go. Bye. I did it. I'm out of the Smokies. Well, I think we're out of the Smokies. 44 minutes and 37 seconds, three miles, made the trail magic. Did it, baby. 1% milk. After a long day of hiking, it hits the spot. Guys, I'm about to get my picture by the, the exit of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We're done, done with it, done with the bears. I, I wanna say thank you to Thin Mint and Frank back here for the trail magic. Thin Mint, uh, good luck with doing the, the, the Continental Divide Trail. Thin Mint said she's done the AT, the Pacific Crest Trail, and then she's doing the Continental Divide Trail this year, and so she'll complete a Triple Crown. That is amazing. And they said that and we, we, they come out here once a year to do trail magic, and the stars aligned, and, and we all got trail magic today. So really, thank you for that, Thin Mint and Frank. It's amazing, man. I, I'm telling you, I ran down the I ran down the hill all the way down for the past three miles. When, I, when a day hiker said there's trail magic up here, I ran three miles downhill with a backpack on, on a mountain in 44 minutes and 37 seconds. It's a record, man. It's a record. I, I can move if I want to. Coca-Cola. I gave y'all a chance and y'all are supposed to sponsor me, man. I, I've been, I've been out here trying to sell your product the whole time, but, uh, I, I haven't seen a dollar yet. No, no royalty checks, no anything. So, um, Pepsi. After a great day of, after a long day of hiking, <laughs> let me try it again. Pepsi, after a long day of hiking, it hits the spot and it's better than Coke. There goes Thin Mint. Oh, where are they? Oh, you see them. There they go. Thin Mint and Frank. Thank you for the trail magic. It was amazing. Mm, I still got donut. Um, oh, I learned, uh, Thin Mint told me about something. Uh, it's called yogiing. And, and I think I'd be good at this because I talk to just about everybody on the trail. I don't have the gift of gab. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just nosy. And, and you know, I like making jokes. Um, but it's called yogiing. Not, not that you're doing, you know, yoga or anything. But it's after Yogi the Bear. And you know how Yogi the Bear, ooh, what's in my picnic basket? And you know, he goes and gets people's picnics. All right, what, what, what Thin Mint explained to me. Is that you yogi, like, you, let's say you're hiking and you're coming across, you know, a state park or something. And there's a lot of day hikers or people out there having, 
you know, a day, you know, they're out there having a picnic and they have their, you know, their sandwiches and their food and everything. You go up and you introduce yourself and you start talking to them, you know, you being friendly. You got to be friendly. And, and you, you say, then eventually they ask you, they're like, oh, are you hiking the Appalachian Trail? And you're like, yeah. And they're like, would you like a sandwich? I thought you'd never ask. And so you can get, you can, you can kind of get a meal. And I was like, whoa, that's a good idea. So I'm going to be a Yogi the Bear, man. If I see someone have a picnic, what are y'all having? Pimento cheese sandwiches? I love pimento cheese sandwiches. Tuna fish? I love tuna fish. Yeah, it's about to happen. So thank you for that thin mint. Um, if you see this video, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm absorbing that information. I'm going to put it to good use. Uh, oh, on another, on another note. Um, Thin Mint uh, also confirmed in my mind, I've heard stories about the hostel that I'm coming up on. It's called Standing Bear. And, uh, you know, for the past week or so, people have been mentioning Standing Bear. And they're like, yeah, it's a place of many colors. And, you know, whatever you're into, they're into. And I was like, word? They got women? And <laughs> but they don't have that. I was like, oh, what, am I, what, what do you mean? But, um... I don't know if I'm going to stop there. I might stop there and get some ramen noodles and maybe a cup of coffee, but I think I'm going to go on down the, go on down the line. I'm, I'm not, I can't really judge it yet because I haven't seen the place, but it has, it's reputation precedes it. And yeah, it's just whatever you're into, they're into. So, okay. All right, I got to go by. This is a pretty sign, man. Pretty sign. Davenport Gap, elevation 1975. We've gone down some, man. 4,000 feet about. Next, 94 miles north, maintained by the Carolina Mountain Club. Man, they must have good support. I mean, check out this sign. That's, that's fancy. Fancy. Oh. Davenport Shelter already found past that. Newfound Gap. That was uh, where I went into Gatlinburg. That was 31.4 miles back. Fontana Dam, hey! That's where we saw the cute girl with the boots on. She lives in my imagination like unicorns. <sighs> Springer Mountain, we are 239.1 miles in. Yeah, yeah. Only 1,970 more go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna chill out a little bit. Y'all let me know if I get a little too obnoxious with, oh boy, and my eyes going wide and you know, all that kind of stuff. Okay, next, 102, okay, south. Smokey, I, you know, I just came from south. We're going to I-40. Oh, I-40, I can't hitch on I-40. I think that's dangerous, hitching on the interstate. And I'd probably go to jail doing that. But then again, when they tried to pull me over, I would give the state trooper the finger and book it. <laughs> oh, you can't catch me. I'll wrestle bears, brother. <laughs> and then he'd shoot me and I'd be down. Anyway, um, Hot Springs. That's where I'm getting my mail. And Mount Katahdin. Oh, here it is. Mount Katahdin, Maine. 1,953.9 miles to go. Word. That's a lot of miles. <sighs> All right, let's go. I got I got stuff to do. I got to recharge my phone. The battery's almost dead. Every time you all see me, my battery's almost dead. It's just the way it is. You know, they said they say trees run on solar power, but I've yet to find an outlet out here in the woods. So I'm kind of doubting this whole solar power thing that they're talking about, trees. Yeah, chlorophyll, you know, I, I don't believe it. It don't exist. Can y'all hear that noise? It's the interstate. I-40, man, it sounds like civilization. Oh, we're so advanced now. We make all this noise. Oh, I'm going on a different different path now. It's just so weird when you're coming when you're in the woods, all you hear is the wind and the and the trees creaking and and deer running around and bears at night. Bears at night. Boy, if that bear comes back to my tent again, we're going to have trouble. Oh, look at this. Look at this white blaze anyway. Oh, this guy's cool. Check him out. Check him out. Hey, little fella, look at him. He's got his little arms and legs and his face. Obey the white rectangle. Anyway, I'm coming up on I-40. Oh, God, that's loud. I don't miss the noise. I can't. Whew. 
I mean, it, it disrupts my thinking when I hear an airplane overhead. Well, like, it's really cool. Like, today, if y'all look up, you know, it's a cerulean, cerulean blue sky. And it's really cool to look up and see the jets, you know, 30,000 feet. And you see the contrails behind them and the little glint of silver. That's the, the jumbo jet. I mean, those are really cool to look because I just like lying on my back and, I don't know, just looking at the sky for hours. That's fun. But when the airplanes are low, when you hear them go, it's like, no, man, turn that off. You know, it's, it's disruptive. Anyway, I feel like I'm going native. Like I get, I get around too many people and I'm like, oh, oh I don't, can't do it. Or I start hearing noise and I'm just like looking around trees, trying to figure out what it is. Like it's the, it's the animal coming to get me. I cross roads and I almost get run over because I, you know, I'm not looking left or right. <laughs> people honking at me ha, ha, get out the way you dirty bum ha. anyway i gotta chill oh i had two sodas two pepsis sorry coke y'all didn't send me any royalty letters so i'm on pepsi now sorry you start sending me checks if you said all right which one tastes better i'm gonna quote dave Chappelle on here i don't know it depends on whoever paid me last <laughs> and neither, neither of y'all paid me yet coke and pepsi y'all are mm. y'all want me to you said get out there and and, and 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 spread the word about coke and pepsi that's what i'm doing y'all see me doing it oh pay me some money jeez <laughs> i don't know i just love doing this i'll see y'all later i almost forgot to mention I'm doing a little, my own little scientific experiment or questionnaire or, or poll, whatever you want to call it. But a lot of people, like when I come out of the woods onto the road and there's trail magic, you know, a lot, a lot of people, uh, uh, um, catering, I guess is the right word. I don't know. Catering the trail magic or, or providing the trail magic. You know, they always ask, you know, why, why are you, you know, hiking the Appalachian Trail? And I come up with, you know, I don't know what I say. Enjoying, I, you know, it's, 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 I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hiking the Appalachian Trail. But anyway, but they always ask us why we, like we through hikers are, you know, out here hiking the Appalachian Trail. But I always ask now when, when trail magic comes, I ask them why, why do they come out and give trail magic, you know, to people they don't know hiking the Appalachian Trail. And well, actually, Thin Mint's the first person I've asked. I've been meaning to ask. But Thin Mint says because she's hiked the trail before and so many people gave her trail magic and provided trail magic that, that she felt like she needed to give back. And so every year they come out and do the trail magic. And I thought, yeah, that makes sense. Like, pay it forward. You know, have you all ever seen that movie? Like, if someone does a good deed to, to, towards you or for you, then you have to do a good deed for three other people. You know, just paying it forward. But uh, that's going to be a running theme. I don't know if I'm going to do a separate video with like asking all the people why they do tra trail magic because a lot of people don't want to be on camera. It may be like this where I have to ask them in person at the, you know, at the road, at the trail magic, and then I'll come and report their, my findings afterwards because not everybody wants to be on the internet. And I understand that. Like I a hundred percent understand that the internet's a wild place. Woo. Y'all some crazy people out there. I, you, I, I look crazy, but I've seen what y'all write on the internet. Y'all crazy. Uh -uh, all the trolls are coming out from under their rocks right now like ah, i'm a troll yeah yeah y'all <laughs> not everybody's a troll but anyway so i understand if they don't want to be on camera but that's my experiment oh this is a nice creek right here um let me cross it but i'm gonna start asking every, every time i get to some trail magic you know they ask us why are you hiking the appalachian trail i don't know i'm a nut but i'll ask them why they do trail magic and i'm gonna report my findings to y'all and then at the end we'll like We'll count up the answers and, and do like a statistics thing. You know, it'll be like the national census or something. Anyway, that's stupid. I'm going to go by. I almost forgot. Okay, uh, back to Thin Mint. Thin Mint is doing a, a career triple crown, which means doing the Pacific, hiking the Pacific Crest, Crest Trail, the Continental Divide Trail, and the Appalachian Trail in your lifetime. Some people, nowadays, some people are doing like calendar year triple crowns. Those guys are insane. But, uh, Anyway, if, if I, we, I was talking with her and we were trying to come up, well, I was trying to come up with a statistic like how is she like one in a hundred thousand 
And she was like, no, it's more than that. And I was like, okay, maybe one in a million. Is she one out of a million people that actually hike all three tra trails in their lifetime? And I, my phone's about to die, so I don't really have access to the information. But if someone out there is cool with math and statistics, if y'all want to either calculate it, I don't know how you do it. You have to look at how many people finish every year, divided by the population, and I don't know. But look up how many people alive currently are have completed a triple crown, whether calendar year or career. And if someone could drop that statistic in the in the comments, I, I'd be I'd, I'd be really you know that'd be cool to hear because she's doing that this year and then i met the other guy blacklight who's also uh, attempting to finish his career triple crown this year so if someone looks that up and puts it in the comments i would appreciate it i know some of y'all some of y'all hiking nerds out there know it all right bye i think i see more trail magic do y'all see it down there on the road that car and the people oh I don't know if I can eat anymore though, man. I just had two sodas, a donut, some a banana, a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Um, I don't know, some other stuff. Well, I hope they don't leave, man. I want some more trail magic. Woo, gotta stuff my face. Stuff my face. Anyway, I gotta go. Woo! Do they see me? Y'all see that? They're down there. All right, all right, I gotta go. I gotta... I'm telling you guys, look at it, trial magic, more. Ah, I can't, I'm stuffed though, man. I'm gonna find something to eat. I'm gonna eat some more. This is cool, this is cool. Trail magic was back there. Thank you, everybody. Um, They're friends of uh, Soundbite. Oh, we got the motorcycles going up too. Y'all see that? Got their two strokes. Got that two stroke going on. I think that's a two-stroke engine anyway. Anyway, I don't know what this river is. Check out this river. I'm going over some river. And we've seen I've seen a lot of people with rafts, like big buses carrying rafts. And if y'all look over, oh uh, can y'all see them walking? Or is my big mug in the way? Anyway, I think that's the trail. I'm gonna follow them. When you see people with sticks in a backpack, that's generally the right direction. So I just keep going that way. Hello! Bye. That was the trail magic. They were really nice. It was cool. I almost forgot. Okay, no, but I asked. I asked this trail magic with soundbite. I'm just gonna call it soundbite because that's the only person I remember the name of uh, at the trail magic. But I asked Soundbite's crew, you know, what brings it? some of them had done the trail before. And I asked, you know, what brings you out here to do the trail magic? And they said pan it forward. So that's two out of two today. They said paying it forward. They both had done the trail and they, they said they had been helped so much while they were on trail that they wanted to pay it forward. And they used those exact words. Those aren't my words. So we have a cool community out here. I'm probably the sore thumb, but uh, I'll be all right. Pay it forward. I'm catching up. I'm talking about going forward. I'll be there. I'm coming. Even though earlier when I did that three miles, I did three miles in 44 minutes and 37 seconds that kind of wore me out that's fast i moved in four years guys four years Woo! i had to get to that trail magic baby i got it okay let's go here we are guys at i-40 if you go west you go to knoxville if y'all can see that you go east you go to Asheville. i-40 this is the first interstate i've been over oh and we're gonna go under got an underpass so that's cool because I, I don't think i'd make it across the interstate if i were trying to like play frogger or something yeah i'd get hit <sighs> but if i survived i'd get an insurance settlement and i could retire i wouldn't have to hike this trail anymore making videos that might be a good idea you know headline would be appalachian trail through hiker gets hit by semi truck settlement one billion dollars I'd be the richest paraplegic in the world. I can't joke about that. That's that's bad. Oh God. Oh, oh, I can't say that either. My jokes are bad taste. There she is. I-40. Y'all see the traffic down there? Right there, kind of. Boy, they're moving fast. 
Part of me kind of wants to try to hitch on the interstate. I know it's not a good idea, but if y'all know me long enough, you'll figure out I'm full of ideas that are not good ideas. <laughs> and that's why y'all are watching. Because <laughs> you, you've thought of it before, but most of y'all have like a barometer or not the barometer, but, but you know, you have a scale and you're like, no, no, that's not a good idea. Well, guess what? I have the same ideas and to me, they sound like great ideas or at least great bad ideas. And hitching out there is one of them until the state trooper shows up and then running from a taser is the next best idea. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Stay tuned, y'all might see something crazy. I think this is the correct time, the opportune moment for a disclaimer. I do not break the law usually and I do not condone the wrestling of bears, underage bears. If they're of age, wrestle that bad boy. But underage bears, I do not condone the wrestling of underage bears. <sighs> and do not hitchhike on interstate, please. I mean, look at that. Play Frogger if you want to. Yeah, but that's a disclaimer, because I know some of y'all out there think I'm being for real. And part of me is for real, but part of me is like, no, that's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, just had to make that, make that statement. And talking about bacon, making bad decisions. Huh. I was talking with my friend Xanthope on the phone the other day. Huh. And I, I don't know, she brought up something that I did that was real stupid. And I was like, yeah, you know I'm an idiot, right? And she was like, yep. And I didn't expect that. I thought she was gonna be like, no, you just make mistakes sometimes. No, she agreed. Woo. At least I got the truth. What is that? Oh my, oh my God, it's a spider. Oh, did y'all see that? thing was climbing up my beard. Oh, did y'all see that? I had a spider climbing up my beard. Whoa. Okay, I gotta put the phone down. Hey, I wanna see if y'all get this joke. Somebody else is gonna get it. Hello. <laughs> anyway, besides the joke, this is the uh, the place of which the reputation precedes it. My grammar is bad, but standing bear, I'm coming to investigate. I have to. I usually don't come by hostels, but I've heard so much about you. I have to see for myself because I believe. None of what I hear, only half of what I see. But it's so interesting and the stories are so far-fetched. I mean, I'd be remiss not to travel 0.2 miles off the trail, which I loathe doing. I'd be remiss not to do it. So let's go check out Standing Bear. My battery might die, so y'all may not see all this. But anyway, I have to charge my phone up here. So I gotta, even if I didn't want to come and see Standing Bear, I still have to go see Standing Bear because... Oh, got a charged phone. We're coming up on Standing Bear. Let me stand still. If y'all can see it in the distance, I'm almost there. See if the rumors are true. It'll live up to the reputation. I don't know. With the reputation I've heard, I am, my interest is very peaked when I get up here. I'm expecting to see like a carnival of sorts. We'll see. So I'm here at Standing Bear. It is a very interesting place. You see here, we've got a suit of armor, like like in, in Hogwarts, you know, think of the castle in Hogwarts. And then look over here, there's feet <laughs> out of the window and there's little dogs everywhere. I, oh my, there, see, you see, you see, there's a dog right there and there's more and they're all friendly. They wanna come up and sniff you because I think we smell like a dumpster and they like smelling that. Anyway, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay yet because part of me wants to like be able to say I never stayed one day, you know, off trail the whole way. I don't know if that's just pride speaking or what, but uh, I am going to check out the resupply, which is in this building right here. And I got to see how many days I need to resupply because I have to make it up to hot springs. So let me sit down and find out. 
Okay, I am deciding where to resupply. I'm currently, what is it here? Uh, Standing Bear Shelter at 74.8. My next resupply will be up to Hot Springs at 108. So what's that, 34 miles? Five, I just get, you know what? I just get five days, just about every time. I, I just get five days worth of food and I either eat it all by the time I resupply or I don't, which seems inefficient because you're carrying extra weight that you're not gonna eat before you resupply, but I, I don't know. I really don't carry that much weight, so carrying extra food doesn't bother me. Let's go check out the, the stores, the goods. All right, I'm in the resupply place. Oh, they have postcards. Cool, I gotta get some postcards. But this is just kind of weird. So I was looking, you know, like Skippy peanut butter, but I started seeing all these Chinese characters on it. And you look on the back. I'm starting to wonder about the source of this peanut butter. I'm still gonna eat it. It's just, that's, that's cool. You gotta do my crazy look. I do the crazy eyes when I get on YouTube. Oh, sorry, but it hasn't been the first time. Yeah. We've been with you for a minute. We know this guy, this guy, Um, I, it's just facing this way. I'm not videotaping any y'all. But this guy that gave me a ride one time, he was like, you gotta look out for those older guys in their 50s or 60s that got that crazy look in their eyes. <laughs> they're, the one, they're the ones that cause trouble. And, I'm, and, I was, and, I'm, and I was thinking, I was like, you mean like this? <laughs> I was like, I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm the one the park ranger warned you about. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, I'm at Standy Bear. I'm not going to stay. I mean, it's $20 for a tent. I know you get like laundry and a shower and everything, but I'm going to try to keep this staying on trail every day of the, the, the trip, which is going to be tough. But I'm going to upload this video, and then whatever y'all see after this is going to be after this. So stay chilly. Mm -hmm.